before we get going today, though, there's one thing I do need to know from you guys. If I show this to you guys, what do you guys think about it? Like, I show you guys this Rubik's Cube. No what way, are your thoughts? Jose. No way, Jose. Anxiety, Anxiety right? Yeah. yeah, like, I know me. Like, when I look at a Rubik's Cube here, I'm like, uh-uh. There's no way I could possibly do that. This is a devil's machine. Like, oh. there, there's no way on earth to solve a Rubik's Cube. And, and I think that's just about how it is. And you know what? Sometimes, I unadmittedly, I, I do that sometimes in my classes. You know, I'll sit down in math class, and I'll look at a problem, and I'm like, no way, not happening. I'm sorry, I'm not a math major. <laughs> that's not me. Uh, and so I'll just walk away from it like that's not what we're going to do. But when it comes to the problems we face, not just in life, but in the classroom too, there's different ways we can think about it. And understanding that is critical when it comes to promoting our growth in the classroom. And so that's why I'm going to talk to you today about two terms, as coined by Dr. Carol Dweck, called fixed mindset and growth mindset, and the differences between the two and how we can choose how we attack our problems. So Dr. Carol Dweck, you know, like she's like, okay, she came up with these two words, fixed, growth, fixed mindset and growth mindset. Why do we care? Dr. Carol Dweck has been receiving awards for her work since 2004, and as of recently, 2013 was the most recent award she got. She's won over 12 major awards for her research, and her research seeks to bridge the developmental psychology, social psychology, and personal personality psychology that examines conceptions that use to structure self people, like people within themselves, and how they guide their behaviors in the classroom and the workplace. Like, how do you go about attacking problems? This is what she's seeking to understand, and guess what? She's doing a really good job. Just look at the awards she's gotten. Uh, her first award she won was books. Uh, was a book award for self theories by the World Education Federation, um, as recognized by uh, UNICEF in 2004. And the most recent award she won was the Distinguished Scholarship Award, the Distinguished Scholar Award by the Society for Personality and Psychology in 2013. She has been recognized time and time again for her work by some of the leading organizations in the world. We're talking. This is real deal, big science. You know, we read a lot in our history. The invention of electricity, wow, and like we get to enjoy its benefits every day. But this is work that's being done right here in the now that's benefiting us here today. And that's why I want to talk to you guys about growth mindset, because it will directly impact the way you learn in the classroom. We're all sitting in a college classroom right now, right? We're in classes, we're taking, you know, we're studying, trying to do our best. But the way we can go about tackling our problems can totally change by the way we think about them. And so these two mindsets, fixed and growth, that we're going to dive into now, are going to come down to two things. How we look at the problem. So with our fixed mindset, let's say we look at challenges, right? Now, a, someone with a fixed mindset, they might look at that challenge and say, there's no way I can do it. They're going to avoid it. They're going to go the other way. And they're like, that's not for me. That challenge is someone else's problem. That's not my gift. But if you embrace the growth mindset, you're going to embrace that challenge. You're going to accept what comes with it. You're like, yeah, I may not get it right now. But I can. I can get it by embracing it, learning through it. Now, let's say there's an obstacle in your way and you have a fixed mindset. You're going to say, I can't get over that obstacle. I'm just going to give up. It's a give up attitude. That's what comes with a fixed mindset. So instead of that, what is the opposite, the growth mindset? You have to persist when there's obstacles in the way. So instead of giving up, choose persistence. That's how you start making these changes from fixed mindset to growth mindset. Give up or persist. Persistence is a powerful thing when you've done correctly. You know, because I know you guys might think that annoying kid who's like, but why? But why? But why? But why? And you're like, well, how are you doing that? <laughs> you're like, you might want to slap you, but that's corporal punishment. That's not allowed. <laughs> and so persistence done correctly can lead to your success because we see that through growth mindset. And so and there's so many other ways you can do it, but the choice is ultimately up to you. The ball's in your court. It's your mind. So next time you look at a problem, don't ask yourself, oh, that's not me. That's not me. I can't, I can't solve this Rubik's Cube. There's no way. With time, effort, and persistence, you can get it. So look at Dr. Carol Dweck's research. She's got books. And there's more further research upon it to confirm her findings. But you look at what she's found and apply it to your life, you will find success. I'm telling you, this stuff is a real deal. Look at the organizations that have adopted it and implemented it. I know where I went to school, Westmont High School, they've been to the growth mindset, and we've seen just the amount of growth we've seen in our school become one of the most improved schools in the state of Illinois. We went from having low, like one of the lowest graduation rates to a 99% graduation rate. 99%. That's like one kid per grade. Granted, small school, but that's not the point. So I'm going to bring it back to this. It's in your court. Ball's in your court. You get to choose. 
what mindset you will have. Thank you. <laughs> Questions? I only get one. Thomas in the back. I cannot. That is why. I, <laughs> that is why I have a fixed mindset about it. Yes. Is there anyone in here who can? No. I yield to my point. All right. Thank you very much. You guys have a great rest of your day.